Today I'm going to be covering a topic that is new to the IGCSE biology syllabus and it covers pathogens, transmissible diseases, and the ways you can prevent the spread of transmissible diseases. So first of all, I'd like to go over some definitions. And we have pathogens as any organism that can cause you diseases, or in other words, disease-causing organisms. And then we have transmissible diseases, which is just any disease where the pathogen can be transferred from one host to another. Now you have to remember several ways in which transmission of diseases occurs. And the first way is directly, and this can be through blood or any other body fluid. Here I have depicted blood and like droplets in the air when you cough or you sneeze. And saliva, for example, HIV can be passed on from one host to another via blood contact and like the common cold can be passed on via airborne droplets and then saliva, the common cold. Uh, and interestingly, the airborne droplets also links into an indirect method of transmission and it is the air since they're airborne droplets. And you can also have it by getting infected by animals, so malaria due to mosquitoes, and then also contact with unsanitary surfaces or eating unsanitary food can also cause you diseases. Like for example, so you eat food with poop of someone who has cholera in it, then you would end up having cholera too. So you also have to remember that the body has several defenses in order to prevent getting sick all the time. But also note that these are not all of the body's defenses, they're just some that you need to know for the syllabus. So first we have the mechanical barriers, which includes the nose hair, well, in your nose obviously, and then you have your skin. The nose hair obviously prevents pathogens and a bunch of other things from entering your body, it just traps it in your nose, and your skin is a very protective waterproof layer. So if you think about it, imagine HIV. If you have skin-to-skin -skin contact with someone, then it will be fine, but if your skin has a cut in it, and then the person who has HIV also has a cut in their skin, and then the, your cut and their cut come in contact, then you will get HIV. And that is because the barrier has been broken. And then we have the mucus in the trachea, trap any pathogens so that they don't enter our lungs. And we have the stomach acid, which serves the purpose of destroying pathogens in your food so that when it comes to the intestine, when things are actually being absorbed, you don't absorb any pathogens that can cause you serious health troubles. And then we got the white blood cells, and these are involved in phagocytosis and antibody production, and this will be covered in more detail in the supplement syllabus. And these cells can be improved by vaccination. We're up to controlling diseases from spreading. Firstly, you need to keep your body hygienic, and this is so that when you brush your teeth, which is part of personal hygiene, then you would be killing all the bacteria in the mouth so that they don't enter your body and also you don't accidentally spread anything when you cough because so, your mouth is just clean. And you're also stopping pathogens from growing on your body, for example, athlete's foot. And when you prevent things from growing on your body, then when you come into contact with another person, that person won't get infected either. So yeah, it's just good for everyone. And then you also have to kill the pathogens in all of the things that you're going to eat. So you have to prepare your food in a hygienic way, store your food in a hygienic way. For example, storing cooked food and raw food in separate containers. This is so that you can minimize the amount of pathogens that you're taking into your body when you're eating food, which means that you're going to like minimize the chances of you passing it on to another person via body fluids, for example. And then you have... A proper treatment of garbage and also sewage treatment and this will reduce the number of pathogens that are available in the environment. There would be less pathogens around and this is because most pathogens would usually thrive in conditions where it's kind of damp and dirty and it can feed on your trash for example but if you have all that cleaned up and the streets are clean your house is clean then there would be a much lower number of those pathogens around so there you have less chances of getting infected and other people have less chances of getting infected from you or from the environment itself in many less developed countries 
people just drink water from streams or rivers and things like that because they don't have proper water treatment plants. So if in those countries you don't dispose of the sewage properly, then it's just going to flow back into the water supply. And then they're just going to drink from the water supply, which is obviously bad and leads to many serious diseases like cholera. Now I want to summarize the video. So firstly, pathogens are organisms that can cause you diseases. Transmissible diseases are any disease that can be passed on from one host to another. And these diseases can be passed on via blood and other body fluids or by animals like mosquitoes with malaria. And also contact with unhygienic food or any surface. And also by droplets in the air. The body's mechanical defense would include the skin and the nose hair. And then on the chemical side, there is the mucus in the trachea and the stomach acid. And the white blood cells are involved in phagocytosis and antibody production, which also is a method of defense of the body. We have three different categories. We have the mechanical, we have the chemical, and then we have the cellular mechanism. As I've said before, the white blood cells can be made better by vaccination. So we have to hygienically prepare our food in order to minimize the amount of pathogens that we ingest and therefore minimize the number of pathogens that we can pass on to others. Good personal hygiene will reduce the amount of pathogens that you can spread to other people because there is less stuff growing on you or in you because you're already cleaning off everything. Also, lastly, you've got to treat sewage and waste disposal properly in order to ensure an absolutely clean water supply and a clean environment so that there is no pathogens in the water supply and no pathogens in the environment that can cause you diseases. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this has helped some of you out and if it did please leave a like. If you have any suggestions feel free to leave them in the comments and as always subscribe for more.